called BTP. I will try to be very, very simple manner. I will explain you what is BTP. So many of you have seen some tutorials on internet. Many of you have seen some videos, some tech ed sessions about BTP. Everybody is telling BTP, 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 BTP. And they are telling, you know, at 30,000 feet, big, big diagrams, architecture diagrams. Let's try to understand in a layman way, in a simple manner, what is BTP? Yes, what is BTP? So I would like to meet you, Rohan. Yes. Who is Rohan? Rohan is nothing but a software developer like you and you and me working in SAP space as a ABAP consultant. Yes, as a ABAP consultant. Yes. Or Rohan could be a software developer working on any technology in industry, be it Java, be it Node, be it C, any technology. So Rohan wants to, Rohan has got an idea. An amazing idea to develop a very nice software. Yes. Now, what does Rohan need to do if he would like to build a software? So he need to go and first of all procure hardware. He need to go to market and he need to buy a hardware, which let's say 100 gigs of RAM and one petabytes of hard disk. That is the hardware requirement to build a software. He need to purchase that. He paid about, let's say, 2000 US dollars for such an expensive hardware. And after getting this hardware on his machine, he need to set up networking, which includes Wi-Fi connectivity, network adapters, configure firewall. All this configuration he does. So first he go to the market. It took one day. To figure out the right hardware then it took one day to figure out the correct networking setting up adapter setting up wi-fi everything after that he need to also make sure that some tools or some things which he want will run on a particular operating system so he need to must set up the operating system plus he need to also set up virtualization like vmware remember in childhood days when you want to play a game which is available on linux but you have only Mac or Windows, we install VMware to run the Linux on top of Windows. We virtualize our machine, right? So we need to do that. And that took another one day for him to set up everything. Yes. So the next, he need to also buy the, buy the uh, license for the Windows. Yes, any operating system provided it's not Linux, you need to purchase the license. Then on top of it, you need to install the necessary security softwares like antivirus firewall protection all different types of sorts of protections you need to install let's say it took about half day effort for doing this now on top of it he still cannot start development he need to go and set up something called necessary runtimes so if he's a ui5 developer or if he's a java developer then he need to install gre Java runtime environment. Yes, you need to install all of that. He need to also install databases because eventually an application, full-fledged application, also include databases and runtime. On top of the databases, he need to also install tools to work with these databases and runtimes. So you need to install, for example, for Java, you need to install Java Eclipse tool. You need to install maybe C compiler. Uh, tool the C runtime tool so multiple tools you need to install databases Oracle MySQL SQL server you need to configure install so all in all he took let's say half day half day and choosing the right tool one day so total effort which he has spent to begin the development that's where he can actually actually start the development at this point this is the starting point for him so how much time Rohan has spent? One, two, three, four, five and a half day just to set up the right infrastructure to develop an application. Yes. And maybe some of you might not feel that way because you are getting a pre-configured laptop from your company. When you join a multinational company, they are giving you a ready-to-use laptop but still you are doing a lot of installation of these databases and tools in your laptop. 
right you are spending that time so some time is not spent by you but your by your company it department to set up networking set up all these things but eventually there is a significant time going to set up everything for a developer right now if i say we want to bring down this time we want to significantly bring down effort as well as the time to develop so what we can do is we can first of all go and ask someone to rent out a computer so we can go to someone and say please rent out a hardware with networking and os to me i will pay you some rent per month on the internet so this type of service is called infrastructure as a service where you go to someone who would provide you a ready to use computer with 10 with one petabyte hard disk and 100 gigs of RAM with the operating system of your desire this is called infrastructure as a service in the internet in the cloud so there are providers if you heard about aws google then you have microsoft azure alibaba cloud these are all the different infrastructure providers then your time to do all this is saved so within within a minute you can spin a machine which has everything on top of it let's say also this part we can also further go and ask somebody else to do for us this is called platform as a service yes where you ask somebody to provide you also the platform to develop applications so if you are a development team if you're a software company if you're a startup founder you have a great idea to develop a software why to waste time to set up all this you go and ask somebody to give you this there are lots of player in the market like google cloud platform yes similarly we have sap btp yes we have ocean cloud we have digital ocean yes we have uh, also amazon is also in this space we have like m2 m3 lot of companies are there cloud nine many companies are there which are actually doing great job to provide platform as a service so in this journey what we are doing is we are actually asking someone else who is someone sap to provide me a ready-made infrastructure everything they will provide which will be quick for me to start my development so how much is the effort to set up this less than half day so whereas you were spending a five and a half day and now you're going to spend less than a half day in fact less than an hour to set up the right infrastructure as a development team as a company to quickly start your development yes and here on the upfront investment were very high you were spending about three to four thousand dollars to set up all this but whereas here you just pay like uh, for example example i'm telling ten dollar per user or hundred dollar per month something like that so this is a subscription you are taking now if you compare it with real life in the past if you want to watch movies you need to purchase a vcr do you remember childhood days we were big fan of watching movies so we need to buy vcr or dvd drives yeah dvd player you need to buy and then you need to also additionally buy dvds to insert inside the dvd player to actually play the movie so in this case the entire infrastructure which was dvd player was owned by you you were spending thousands of dollars on this infrastructure and on top you were renting out these dvds to play the movies at your door so all the investment was right up front initial investment but now are you guys are you guys using dvd players what are you using to watch digital content what are you watching how are you watching movies these days anyone no one big fan of movies how are you watching movies and shows OTT. ott platform OTT example streaming platform Netflix, amazon prime amazon prime video very good everybody knows about g prime right in india we have sony live so we have many ott platforms youtube all these are ott platforms what you need to do do you need to buy a dvd player for that no you need to pay a subscription fee like 100 rupees per month pay subscription fee for example so it's very little you need to pay 
and you get free content over the internet streamed to your to, to your smart devices that's the advantage of this new world of cloud now compare it same in the development this is what has happened in industry and that's where sap btp has come so btp is a platform as a service if somebody asks you an interview what is btp it's a platform as a service for the developers and development teams and software companies who has a great idea to implement and they don't want to do a upfront investment they want to speed up their process for developing applications directly in the cloud the another advantage what you get at the end the application which comes out is actually called software as a service so this itself is a cloud application the users of your application they don't need to consume this application by installing anything they can simply open the browser and they can start using your application example of such application is gmail gmail is a software as a service you don't have to install any server in your computer it's a gmail application similarly we have many many applications which you can build on btp now btp offers a tool this tool is called sap bas tool like i told you that btp is basically a platform so it also offers a tool called bas tool so now you understand bas is nothing but it's just a tool offered on top of btp btp is the platform on this platform you have many 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 many, many services one of the service one of the services bas service is this clear hello everybody in the room are you clear what is btp versus what is bas in a layman way i explained it in an easy manner so that you can digest and understand it is this clear hello bas versus btp what is bas and what is btp yes or no yes any doubt yeah, Anubhav Subrata here. <coughs> Anubhav, regarding this uh, other services which is there in the BTP, can we connect with the BAS or these all individual services cannot be connected? Very good, uh, very good question. So, there are so many services. Yes, it is possible that some services will connect to each other. It is possible. But some services are independent. Let me give you an example. HANA service. It is a database as a service. Yes. Transport service. We have workflow service. Yes. We have services related to connectivity. We have destination service. Yes. We have runtime service. We have database as a service. We have queuing service. We have enterprise messaging queue service. So we have so many services and these services can also connect with each other. And some are independent. But we don't want to go so much in detail. This is not BTP training. This is UI5 training. So our focus will be on BTP and the BAS tool. But if you are interested to learn more, we have different, different courses at Anubo Trainings, which includes HANA Access Development on BTP. We have HANA Cloud Development on BTP. We have BTP Development course with Java and Node.js. We have ABAP on Cloud Development. So ABAP is also available in BTP as a service now. It's called ABAP on Cloud. So we have different, different courses at Anubo Trainings as and when the time time passes when you understand more on btp in this training this is the first step today so slowly you will digest you will understand and in future you can take more courses to completely cover the btp umbrella